I don't know, but I think I think she answered it for me. Okay. But really, we're we're looking for the next lady who is going to not only. do Ghana proud, but wear the crown and change lives. Definitely. Someone to wear the crown and change lives. I'm going to introduce our next judge. In fact, she seems to be the most popular woman in Ghana right now. Everywhere you go, everyone is talking about her. She used to be the host of Miss Malika Ghana, and then I took over. But now she is in the judge's seat. Ladies and gentlemen, how much do you love Nashoko? Make some noise. Nah. Good evening, Nah. How are you doing? Hi, Bella. You look so Great. lovely. Thank you. And well, so do you. Thank you so much. This is interesting because some years ago, just about what, two years ago? Yes. You were actually here ago, on stage. I was. And uh, now you're seated. This is going to be your second time as judge? Yes. Okay. Last year must have been good. Is there anything different this year? Well, last year was my first time as judge on the show. This year is my second time. So this year I'm going to... Should I say relax more? And I'm looking forward to a good display of style, elegance, and eloquence. Style, elegance, and eloquence. And in fact, these three definitely define the next lady I'm going to introduce. Just recently, she celebrated 10 years in the industry as one of Ghana's biggest songstresses ever. And she knows how to make a fashion statement every time she steps out. Becca! You're welcome to Miss Malaki Ghana as judge. You look so lovely, by the way. Becca, so tonight you are a judge. You are not new to the industry. You understand what it means to be successful. Tonight, what one thing will be the determining factor for you? I think a lot of us here are looking for two things, me especially, and the two things I'll be looking for. You said one, but I will say two. The two things will be beauty, because beauty is really important when it comes to beauty pageants. But the most important thing for me, because this person is going to represent Ghana all across the world, will be intelligence. And so for me, it's beauty and intelligence. All right. Thank you so much, Becca. Beauty and intelligence. And yes, Leah is all the way around the world representing Ghana as well. John Dumelo, tell you, did you drive your V8 this evening? <laughs> John Dumelo, the ladies' man, looking lovely in pink. When I was doing Miss Malak, I remember there was an event. You came almost bare-chested. Yes. I was hoping you'd come, you know, showing a few. No, how, how many packs do you have today? I've united them, so they are one now. <laughs> <laughs> John, you're yes. also a judge as well. Yes. And tonight, of course, a lot of ladies love you. But really, if you were to choose one as your woman, what would be that thing that you look out for? Who? I mean, um, I've, I think I've spotted one or two that I think could be queen, but it all depends on their level of intelligence, how they answer the questions, how they, they are confident, and their persona. So that's what I'm looking out for. But I do have uh, quite a t one or two in my head. Do you? Yes. Care to share? Yes. 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 Okay. Who? 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 Yeah. Huh? Who? Oh. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to introduce our last judge for tonight, and she belongs to an organization that has supported Miss Malika Ghana in many ways. Beauty, of course, is their hallmark. And tonight, from Glam's Makeup Italy, please give it up for Jinwa Faour. Hi, Jinwa. Good evening. How are you doing? Fine. Thank Fine, you so thank much, you. by the way, to you and your team for supporting Miss Malika Ghana. And like I said, beauty is your hallmark. I believe it's going to be one of the key things you'll be looking out for. Definitely. All right. But tell us more. As a judge, how does it feel tonight? It feels great. It's all about the beauty. And uh, Glamps is here to make uh, the beautiful more beautiful, enhancing every beautiful face. Because I believe we are all beautiful. And the ladies, really, they are super beautiful tonight. Yes, super, super beautiful. Like I said, 10 of the most beautiful ones. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just remind you again that you have to keep voting for your favorite to make it to the top. Tonight is the final night, and you wouldn't want to go home disappointed and upset because your votes were not enough to help her make it to the top. Just text your favorite's name to short code 1757, and along with that, our special team here will help us collate the results. And after our rep from Media Egg GSM joins us on stage to give us those results, we will all find out together who will be Miss Malaka Ghana. Again, one more time, can I just hear who you think is winning tonight? Yeah? 
Okay, well, let's get ready because the show is just about to begin. Season 15 of Miss Malaika Ghana, right after this. Our hair deserves the best, and the best is optimal. From root to... Tip Optimal provides the ideal hair care to straighten and prevents fall and breakage. Optimal is made from fruit extracts and shea butter. It makes our hair more resistant, brighter, and 10 times softer. Maximum protection for all hair types. Optimal, the relaxer expert. It's sad that many live in Ghana, the land of gold, but have never experienced, may never experience, and do not own gold considered a piece of the Gold Coast, Ghana. In times past, forebearers of every Ghanaian household owned a piece or several pieces of gold, storing it as their main socio-economic security against unforeseen tendencies. You must own gold. You need men's gold. Buy men's gold today to hedge against inflation, store it as generational treasure, and as a safe haven for stock market uncertainties. Own men's gold now. Locate us at Tema, Accra, Kumasi, Takwa, and even in Madrid, Spain. Log on to mensgold.com or call 020-111-3285. Men's Gold, Ghana's Gold Hub. Another one. Another one. What does glam mean to me? Yeah, I teach you like a lamb. What does glam mean to me? Burned out cremation. Burned out. Make it cream, yeah, Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Throw that ass back, Boo Tang. Boo Tang. Call me. Gorgeous. I can tell you gone off the doors. Sexy. Mama, why would you say? You say. You talking to me like a new bed. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Because we will crown another young lady and have her life changed. For the better well guess what we're starting off with the first round at this point and let me just explain this round to you so this is where we get to test our ladies just a little bit but this is just a tip off the iceberg we'll also be looking out for their beauty i'm sure my judges will definitely look out for that and in fact they'll come in two pairs so five of them will come first and right after that we'll have them pick questions from a basket and we'll ask them and hopefully, they'll get their answers right. If you're ready, ladies and gentlemen, let's invite our first five delegates on stage right now. You can make some noise just to encourage them more. This never come from comfort zones. My name is Johanisha Asid Rajman, delegate number one. I'm a graduate of Calic University of Ghana. Miss Malaika Ghana has really transformed my life. That is, has made me confident and fearless. By walking into my fears, I overcame them. Thank you all for being part of my journey so far. Keep the support coming in as I do my best. Have a good evening. I believe in big dreams. But to achieve them, you need prayers, hard work, and determination. Miss Malaika has not only been fun, but also been educated. I would love to say a big thank you to those of you out there for your love, your support, and your vote. The journey is about to end with so much joy, and I urge all of you to expect nothing but the best from me tonight. Winning or not, I hope I make an impact on people's lives. My name is Lafangaji, delegate number two. Enjoy the night. Hi, my name is Abigail Ache Osabu, delegate number three. A queen is not afraid to fail, as failure is a stepping stone to greatness. It's been a 
an amazing journey which has transformed me totally from a shy young girl to a confident young lady. I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me in every little way they could. My number one priority this night is to win Miss Malaika Ghana. Cheer me on and vote Abby to 1757. Enjoy tonight and have a great evening. Everybody, my name is Kayla Amabrefa Inimel, a second year student of Ghana Technology University College, offering procurement and logistics. Being a part of Miss Malaika Ghana is a dream come true because there are so many ladies out there who are doing so well after this pageant. I can boldly say that I'm more confident and more matured as this pageant comes to an end. Tonight, as I do my thing and I do my best, Kayla on my brief in email is going to be crowned Miss Malaika Ghana 2017. Enjoy. Make use of every little opportunity that comes your way because it's out of these little opportunities that spring out bigger ones. My name is Valerie Jewa Sante, delegate number five, a student of the Ghana Institute of Journalism. awesome. It has made me tolerant, determined, and has given me the zeal to give back to society. And to my friends and family out there, thank you for your love and support, and I promise not to disappoint you. Have a good evening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first five delegates coming on stage right now. Make some noise for Johan, Sheila, Abigail, Valerie, and Kayla. And by the way, Johan's dress is by Etruba Couture. Sheila's as well by Etruba Couture. Same as Abigail, Etruba Couture. And Kayla is wearing Anvi Online, while Valerie is wearing Etruba Couture. Now, like I said, this is the point where they all pick pieces of papers um, in this basket. And whatever question is in there, they have to answer. So, yes, you can go ahead and kindly let them pick. All the best to all five of you. Okay. Do not open till I get to you. All right. So here we go. Since Johan is delegate number one, I'm going to start off with her. By the way, she looks so beautiful. Johan, how are you doing? I'm fine. Little nervous or you're good? I'm nervous. A little nervous. But of course, I'm sure you're going to nail it tonight, right? Sure. All right. Well, let's start off with you. Let's find out what your question is. Okay. So this is Johan's question. Johan, if you were stuck on a remote island, what two items would you rather you were stuck with and why? I'll ask again. If you were stuck on a remote island, what two items would you rather you were stuck with and why? Fire and a Bible. Bible to sustain me and fire to keep me warm. All right, thank you so much, Johan. And again, she has been styled by a true bakuto. And by the way, all makeup tonight by Glam's Makeup. She how are you doing? 